Good afternoon. The Scottish Parliament is set to refuse to give its consent to the EU withdrawal bill. The Scottish and UK governments have failed to agree on what happens to powers coming back from Brussels after Brexit. Refusing consent would not prevent the UK government from introducing the legislation. However, it would be the first time Westminster has pushed through laws against the wishes of the Scottish Parliament. It is a power grab, but it's a power grab that has effect. For example, it will create great difficulties in food labelling and food regulation. It will create great difficulties in environment, create great difficulties in farming. We want to have those agreed frameworks in place. But if they're put in place by imposition, they won't be the frameworks that work well for Scotland. The Scottish Conservatives supported calls that were echoed right across the chamber for the original Clause 11 to be uh, withdrawn and rewritten. Uh, that's now happened. Um, it's good enough for the Welsh Labour government in Cardiff. It's good enough for Liberal Democrat and um, Labour peers in the House of Lords. It's good enough for the Scottish Conservatives and it should be good enough for the Scottish Parliament. A major investigation is continuing after a young woman's body was found on a roadside 100 miles from her home. 22-year-old Annalise Johnston from Ardrossan was discovered in a wooded area between Ochter Ardour and Dunning on Thursday afternoon. Police are appealing for anyone with information to come forward. The Oil and Gas Innovation Centre says that more than 500 jobs will be sustained or created in Scotland over the next six years as a direct result of its support for research and development. In a new economic report, the Scottish Government-backed initiative shows how the projects it's funded could result in significant cost savings. There's a bit of an ecosystem has evolved in the North East whereby we pass projects on to the Oil and Gas Technology Centre who are better equipped to uh, support later stage development of technology and the first field trials and companies if they continue to be successful will then move on to support from Scottish Enterprise. A Dundee football club player has been arrested following an alleged assault outside a nightclub. Paul McGowan was detained outside the underground venue on South Tay Street in the early hours of Monday. Police Scotland have confirmed the arrest of a 30-year-old man. He's been charged and released on an undertaking to appear at Dundee Sheriff Court at a later date. Now here's Sean with the latest weather forecast. Sponsors STV Weather. A very good afternoon to you. Many of us started off with a lot of dry and sunny weather, but the weather front spoiling the party a wee bit, bringing in more cloud and outbreaks of rain through this afternoon. Some heavy bursts at times across northern and northwestern parts. Brighter skies coming back into northwest later on, along with cooler air as well. Still warm in the northeast, highs of 18 or 19 degrees. So that band of cloud and rain moving its way eastwards through this evening. Then we're going to clearer skies tonight. With that cooler air and those clear skies, it will turn out to be chilly, touch of frost in some parts. Tomorrow, a dry day with sunny spells for many of us. Temperatures not quite as high, but still feeling warm in the sunshine with light winds. Highs 14 degrees. Bye bye. Tui sponsors STV Weather. Well, that's all for now. Remember, you can get all the latest news on our website or the STV News app. From all the team here, have a good afternoon. Goodbye.